Hello, welcome to Google Search Engine Tutorial 131. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Google Search Engine with uh, ArcGIS. So uh, Gmap just released a new version and uh, with uh, added support for ArcGIS Pro. And now you can uh, directly load data from Google Search Engine uh, inside ArcGIS Pro. And so basically, you you can you can combine uh, the powerful uh, desktop GS with cloud computing together. Uh, to do geospatial analysis. So first of all, let me show you how to set it up uh, because you need to uh, install a Conda environment and uh, install packages. If you go to the GMAP uh, website and uh, click tutorials, scroll down to the end, find number 131. So from here, uh, there's some uh, instructions showing you how to do that. And I'm also going to show you step by step how to create the Conda environment and install GMAP and then you can run uh, Jupyter Notebook uh, within ArcGIS. So first of all, go to uh, open ArcGIS and then click uh, settings. On the left side, you should be able to find uh, package management uh, manager. And then upper right corner here, click uh, the settings icon. It will bring up. Uh, if this is the first time they are doing this, uh, you will be only showing you the first one. So ArcGIS Pro. So this will be the uh, uh, environment that's activated. All you need is just click the clone environment. So the ArcGIS Pro Python 3, this is the uh, basically the base environment uh, for ArcGIS and so you cannot make any changes. Uh, if you want to install additional packages, then you have to clone. So basically we are creating a copy uh, of the Conda environment. So click the icon here or click the menu and then click clone. Uh, on the pop-up uh, dialog here, uh, don't change the source. Uh, you just need to change this one. So just name it GE or any other name that you like things i already created before so it doesn't allow me but uh, you just type g and then click ok it will take a couple minutes to uh, create uh, clone the environment once it's created uh, you just click the uh, three dots here and then uh, click activate because right now i already activated so you'll be here just like this activate so what we are doing here is to create the contact environment and then activate it once you activate um it was showing up here, showing you the active environment. So make sure that that one is uh, G because otherwise you you are not going to you won't be able to run any Google Search Engine uh, using the default uh, Python ArcGIS Pro Python three environment. And once you are here, uh, you can check your um a uh, computer. So this shows you where the packages are being installed, where the on that environment. So under your username and then app data. So let me show you quickly here you'll be under your c drive uh, user uh, your name and then you'll be under the app data so local s3 and then conda emvs ge right so this is where the conda environment has been installed you want to check out for example what kind of packages are available you click the lib directory and then uh, site packages so these are all the packages that has been installed uh, within this Conda environment, uh, you can certainly install uh, additional packages. So come here, click Add Packages, and you see 5,549. And from here, you can search any packages. Um, unfortunately, uh, GMAP is not included in here. So I don't know. This probably is a, a Conda channel that maintained by Esri. So it does not include all the packages. So what we can do is actually to use um, the command line to install the packages by ourselves so you can open this and then go to step two uh it's going to show in here so what you need to do is to open a command prompt or powershell uh, to install and then just simply copy this line uh, you will notice here the environment ge so if you uh earlier when you clone the environment you use other name then you make sure you change the ge to something else okay so what you need to do is just simply copy here and then open uh your terminal and then just right click uh, hit enter it should install package uh, since i already installed so it's pretty quick and this is how you install gmap um, to your um, library uh, to to your conda environment you're welcome to install additional packages for example i can also install let's say div map or geopandas or other packages uh, if you want okay once it's installed then we are good to go so we can use um, um ArcGIS Pro. So what you need to do, create a new map and then uh, create a new project. I can just name maybe GE, uh, press enter. So the, then you will create a new um, uh, project. 
and within here um, what we need to do is to create a notebook so there are two ways you can do that the first you can click the insert tab and then here's the notebook so you can create uh, add a new notebook so, or you can uh, add existing notebook to here so alternatively you can go to the folder and then here you can right click new uh, new uh, notebook here so Elon is fine so I'm just going to click at least one and you will notice that uh, down within the project folder it automatically add um, uh, the directory into here so you're welcome to um, just copy uh, if I hover my mouse here you will see the directory right so if you click uh, it's going to open in here so you're welcome to uh, copy and paste existing notebook and then put in here it will show up uh, directly in here and once you have the notebook um, you can just r run any gmap code that you used to run before so I can just type um, import e and then imp uh, import gmap uh, alt enter so it's going to import the library and then you should be to just like uh, create a map so I can gmap.map and then map uh, alt enter so it should create a map right so this is just a traditional uh, gmap that uh, you used to uh, run this in uh, Jupyter Notebook or Jupyter Lab the differences between this version is that if you add any data layers uh, Google changing it's also going to add to the here right now we only have an empty map so it's nothing in here and let me go to the notebook example uh, just simply copy this one and then come back to here uh, you can just paste uh, control V right so we are creating the map uh, we are loading uh, earth engine data um, visualize that and then add the data layer to the map so the differences between this one here right now running ArcGIS is that if you are add layer using ArcGIS it's going to also add the data layer to the map here so let's run this one you should still be able to see the map so you can still see the map as user here within Jupyter Notebook but notice on the left side here uh, if you switch to map mode it's also the map the later layer has been added also to uh, ArcGIS and then you can turn the data layer on and off you, will, you can double click and see the metadata uh, as in the source so actually this one is a tie layer so this one is a uh, TMS or uh, XYZ tie layer so actually this is the one generated uh, uh, interactively in, uh, using uh, Google Sending uh, and GMAP so now you see you have the data layer so in this way you can combine if you have other data layer on your computer you want to overlay with your uh, Earth Engine data layer now you can do that easily and also you can create maps so now because these are all the data layers you can create nice looking maps uh, using ArcGIS right so this is one way because um, you can also support any other, any other data layer so it can be vector it can be raster it can be image collection so the next example I'm going to show you here is this one so I'm just going to copy this and paste so this one we are adding uh, lane set 9 image so you can take a look at here oops uh, it's just center to the object and also why it's not uh, not center I'm not sure what's going on uh, sometimes it doesn't work very well anyway so here once I add uh, the lane set data you will see here and if you click to the map take a look so the lane set 9 image has also been added to the map uh, I think I have a couple copy here let me remove this all right, so you have the lane set 9 image it's automatically being centered around this image so uh, map dot add layer and also the map dot center object and also the map dot set center so those functions will automatically uh, interact with the active map right now within your ArcGIS right so for example I can move your mouse uh, move my map to some other location right so here I can run this one again I can say uh, map map dot center image if I run this here it will interact with the map so if I run this one get this one here now it's moved back to this one you can also use the map dot set center so I would say map dot set center and then you can pass in a, a longitude latitude so for example longitude 100 degree and 42 uh, latitude 40 degree so this will be uh, in Asian countries right so right now we are in for example here uh, in North America so the map should be moved to uh, Asian countries right so look at here 
And again, you are welcome to add any data, la uh, data layers. It can be raster, it can be vector. Uh, as long as you are using the map dot add layer function, uh, you will be automatically added to the left side. Um, so in here, you can also uh, use like this. But this one here, the limitation is that uh, if you have data on your local computer, uh, especially if you have large data set, many, many gigabytes, it's not very suitable uh, for WebGIS because it might take a long time to load the data. Um, but in ArcGIS, it can probably do that very quickly. Um, and so now you can use both desktop and uh, cloud computing within ArcGIS Pro and so bring you the power of geospatial analysis um, by combining the two of them. And you can add as many notebooks as you want. So I can create a new notebook uh, if you want. So I can run multiple notebooks. Uh, you can get, for example, do all kind of zonal statistics or any other uh, stuff. And then the result will be also showing up here uh, in the directory. And uh, as I said, any data layer that you added to the map will show up here on the left side. And you will also notice that the data layer will automatically be named the same as this one here. Uh, you can also say, for example, you can also change the opacity. So I can say, for example, say HRTM2. And I would say, for example, by default, I don't want to show the map. Okay. And you can also change the opacity. So I would say I don't show it and the opacity 50%. So now this one, this one again, uh, you see on the left side, right? Click the map. Uh, and let me uncheck this one. So by default, uh, the map is not showing up here. If you click, uh, you might also notice like the transparency is 50%. So that means all the um, uh, parameters that you use to map dog at layer will also be reflected on the map in here. If you want to be truly, for example, op like this, uh, you can 100% and then you can click this one, right? So you see that you have the nice map just like in here. Okay, so uh, that's all for this video. I hope you find it useful. Now you can uh, use ArcGIS Pro and uh, Google Sending together so that you can pull a lot of data from Google Sending and uh, petabyte data. It doesn't really matter. So you can have all the data uh, directly visualized in Google Sending. So all we need is just to create a notebook and then um, provide whatever parameter you want to customize and then you should be able to run this one uh, generate the map and then the map dot a layer function essentially pull the high URL and then add the URL uh, to the map kind of similar to this one here uh, map uh, add data and then add data from pass so uh, if you have any XYZ tile layer or TMS uh, service URL you can just paste in here so let me show you exactly what this one is about uh, maybe just to show you what it looks like so for example here this lane set 9 or the srtm image so i can say map dot layers and you will notice in here this data layer actually is a thai service url so all you need to do is simply copy this one uh, this is the one that generated by google sending so it's only valid for 24 hours and after that you will have to rerun the call so you can think about this is the uh, web service and so what we want to do is add the web service to the map so let me remove all the existing one um, behind under the hood so uh, gmap actually add the xyz tile layer uh, to here so if you click add data add data from uil and then just copy paste the uil that we just uh, get from the notebook and then everything else you can be default and you just click hit okay you see the data layer has been added um, directly to ArcGIS but the, the the layer name is like this so under the hood uh, Gmail automatically rename this uh, layer name to whatever you specify uh, in here and this is how you can actually add the data layer uh, to the map you can also use it directly in here and let me add a new call block so by default it's called uh, ArcPy and um, a P R X equal to I say up high dot um I forgot the um project let me see here so basically you will be able to use ArcPy you also can also use the add um uh, layer so I can show you for example I can say um active map so I can say M then we have a lowercase m lowercase e e equal to gmap 
dot uh, I think it's called uh, art active map so this one here uh, right now this map here is referring to the active map uh, in this one here so once you have the map I can say map dot uh, add data from past okay or let me add a new call block above here it will be URL equal to so this is the URL generated using Google Sending. So, and what we can do is to use the map doc add data from past and then URL. And if you select on the left side, okay, right? So after we add this one, now you see this one is added also automatically. So this shows you uh, if you want to uh, add data layer. It, it, this can be any data layer. It can be open stream map or whatever uh, you like. And all the data layers will be automatically added to here so similarly i can actually also add base map so here i can say map dot add base map and they say i i want to add the google base map i can do it like this so let me remove this one first and pay attention to this here right now it's just a simple base map so i'm adding the base map uh google base map and also adding google sending uh, uh srtm and take a look on the left side now you have the hybrid the setup base map you also have the uh google sending data layer right so you have the google base map here and the earth engine data layer right so you have, have both essentially you can add any xyz tie layers or tms layers uh, just like if, if you just want to have a uil you can do it this way but if you in gmap you can use the app base map and add layer uh together to any any data layer to the map Okay, so that's all for this video. I hope you find it useful. I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.